Hi, here is Nirupa Macharji and I am with my health alert channel. Today, you know, I'll be discussing something which relates to the women's health issue, which is of very importance. And this is related to something which is related to the breast cancer of women. How this is to be diagnosed, how this is to be dealt with, how this is to be understood by a common woman. A disclaimer, this video is for educational purpose only and is no substitute for medical advice or care. Breast density changes over time could be linked to breast cancer risk study finds. Uh, this is a very latest research study which has been published and uh, you know uh, covered by the CNN in the first week of May only. Uh, what is of significance is that nearly one by two of women age 40 and older have dense breasts which makes mammograms harder to read and increase the risk of breast cancer now a little bit of anatomy of the breast <clears throat> breast comes in all shapes and sizes breast density is not determined by, by how a breast looks or feels breast density refers to the amount of fibroglandular tissue in a woman's breast compared to fatty tissues. So this fibroglandular tissue makes it all the importance as far as the density of breast density is concerned. Fibrous connective tissues gives the breast its shape and glandular tissue responds to hormonal influences, produces milk and is where breast cancer forms at the cellular level. Fat in the breast is well just fat. On a mammogram, the fibroglandular tissue looks white while the fat looks black. I repeat, on a mammogram, the fibroglandular tissue looks white while the fat looks black. The white, the whiter the breast appears on a mammogram, the denser it is considered. And density of breast is nowadays linked to the development of breast cancer. So that's why it is all the very important to understand the density of breast. Now, what is a mammogram? A mammogram is an X-ray picture of the breast. Doctors use a mammogram to look for early signs of breast cancer. Regular mammograms are the best tests doctors have to find breast cancers early, sometimes up to three years before it can be felt or it can really manifest. Breast density reporting and supplemental testing. Dense breast tissue by itself doesn't need to cause alarm. Approximately 40% to 50% of women have dense tissues. But women with dense breast tissues are at a higher risk for breast cancer compared to women without dense breasts. In addition, dense tissues can mask, actually can cover abnormalities on the mammogram, making it harder to detect small cancers. This is how most of the time a mammogram can look like. Uh, the first one depicts fatty uh, breasts, scattered areas of density. Then in the second, the third picture shows heterogeneous, heterogeneously dense breasts. And then finally, the extremely dense breasts. Generally speaking, mammograms can detect approximately 80% of breast cancers in women without dense tissues. But the number decreases to below 60% in women with dense breast tissues. The more dense the breast tissue appears on a mammogram, the farther the detection rate falls. This is one of the reasons for the most recent ruling by the Foods and Drug Administration USA that aims to help further standardize information that healthcare organizations share. In 2009, Connecticut enacted the first breast density reporting law requiring facilities performing screening mammograms to inform patients about breast density. And this more recent ruling will standardize reporting at the federal level. What is important is now the diagnostic centers has to inform the patient about the breast density. Data shows us that mammograms consistently reduce breast cancer mortality by detecting breast cancer at smaller sizes and earlier stages compared to women who do not have mammograms regardless of breast density.
mammograms still detect microcalcifications and areas of abnormal tissue that might indicate cancer is hiding. But women who have dense breast tissues should discuss the option of supplemental screening in addition to undergoing a yearly mammogram. Breast density is only one factor that contributes to someone's overall risk of developing breast cancer. The decision to undergo additional imaging may depend on your age, exactly how dense your tissue is, your personal preferences, and whether you have additional risk factors for breast cancer, including family history of breast cancer or ovarian cancer, prior breast biopsies, or exposure to hormones. Abnormal nodule found in mammography. This is a picture of or demo of mammography. Normal in the left side and abnormal nodule as detected by a mammogram leading to breast cancer in the right hand side picture. Once again, I repeat the disclaimer. This video is for educational purpose only and is no substitute for medical advice or care. Now, breast density changes over time could be linked to breast cancer risk study finds. This is as recent a study as published on May 2, 2023 and was there with the CNN. Uh, these are the picture depicting normal mammogram. First, second one, benign cyst as is shown. Third is breast calcification. Fourth is breast cancer. Breast density changes over time could be linked to breast cancer risk study finds. The important point is the density change can link or can lead to breast cancer. Breast density is known to naturally decrease as a woman ages. And now a study suggests that the more time it takes for breast density to decline, the more likely it is that the woman could develop breast cancer. Women with dense breasts have a higher risk of breast cancer. Researchers have long known that. But according to the study published last week in the journal JAMA, that is Journal of American Medical Association Oncology, the rate of breast density changes over time also appears to be associated with the risk of cancer being diagnosed in that breast. Now, this is to be underlined. The rate of breast density changes over time also appears to be associated with the risk of cancer being diagnosed in that breast. Breast density refers to the amount of fibrous and glandular tissues in a person's breast compared with the amount of fatty tissue in the breast. And breast density can be seen on a mammogram. We know that invasive breast cancer is rarely diagnosed simultaneously in both breasts. Thus, it is not surprised that we have observed a much slower decline in the breast that eventually developed breast cancer compared to the natural decline in density with age. Breast density refers to the amount of fibrous and glandular tissue in a person's breast compared with the amount of fatty tissue in the breast and breast density can be seen on a mammogram. Because women have their mammograms taken annually or biennially, the change of breast density over time is naturally available. We should make full use of this dynamic information to better inform risk stratification and guide more individualized screening and prevention approaches. Mm -hmm. Evaluating breast density. The researchers also found that there was a significant decrease in breast density among all the women over the course of 10 years, regardless of whether they later developed breast cancer. But the rate of density decreasing over time was significantly slower among breasts in which cancer was later diagnosed. Once again, uh, what is of significance is that the rate of density, breast density decreasing over time was significantly slower among breasts in which cancer was later diagnosed. This study found that evaluating longitudinal changes in breast density from digital mammograms may offer an additional tool for assessing risk of breast cancer and subsequent risk reduction strategies. Not only is breast density a known risk factor for breast cancer, dense breast tissue can make mammograms more difficult to read. So the density in the breast can have multiple complications. Even it can hinder 
the mammograms to read the stage of cancer <clears throat> there are two issues here first breast density can make it more difficult to fully see through the breast on a mammogram like looking through a frosted glass thus it can be harder to detect a breast cancer secondly breast density is often thought to reflect the estrogen exposure or estrogen levels in women and the greater the estrogen exposure the greater the risk of developing breast cancer now here estrogen is a new term what is estrogen estrogen is a category of sex hormone responsible for the development and regulation of the female reproductive system and secondary sex characteristics in march the us fda published updates on its mammography regulation requiring mammography facilities to notify patients about the density of their breast so in the us now the uh, diagnostic uh, uh, organizations has to inform mandatorily the i mean the status of their density breast density so that they remain well aware how to reduce uh, your breast cancer risk women should know that density may not affect their risk so much if they have the breast cancer brca1 or two mutation because brca1 or two mutation risk is so high that it may not make it much higher brca1 that is breast cancer gene 1 and breast cancer gene 2 are genes that produce proteins that help repair damaged dna women who have a brca1 or brca2 genetic mutation are at an increased risk of breast ovarian and pancreatic cancers some ways to reduce the risk of breast cancer include keeping a healthy weight being physically active drinking alcohol in moderation or not at all and for some people taking medications such as tamoxifen and breastfeeding your children if possible breast density is a modest risk factor The average woman in the US has a 1 in 8 lifetime chances of developing breast cancer. Women with dense breasts have a slightly greater risk about 1 in 6 or 1 in 7. So the lifetime risk goes up from 12% to 15%. That still means that most women with dense breasts will not develop breast cancer. Sometimes radiologists will recommend additional breast imaging to women with dense breast tissue on mammograms. The US Preventive Services Task Force recommend biennial screening for women starting at age of 50. Biennial screening of women starting at 50 that can be mammogram or other methods. Now this is also recommended by American Cancer Society and Mayo Clinic. They emphasize that women have the option to start screening with a mammogram every year starting at age 40. It's also very clear that breast density tends to be highest in younger women. premenopausal women and for almost all women it tends to go down with age so obviously once again uh, what is of a significance is that breast density tends to be highest in younger women premenopausal women and for almost all women it tends to go down or reduce as the age progresses however the risk of breast cancer goes up with age so these two things are a little bit at odds with each other So if you are a 40 year old woman and your breasts are dense you could think about that as just being really kind of age appropriate the take home message that's very very practical and pragmatic right now is that if you have dense breasts whatever your age is even if you are post menopausal maybe even specifically if you are post menopausal and your breasts are not getting less dense the way the average women does that it really is a reason to seek out adjunctive imaging in addition to just mammography to use additional diagnostic tools ultrasound or maybe even mri if there are other risk factors <clears throat> so the point of i mean significance is that if your breasts are not getting less dense the way average women does with progressing age that is really a reason to seek out adjunctive imaging what does breast cancer look like depending on the type of breast cancer you may notice breast clumps or changes in the size and color of your breast your nipple may also change in appearance 
breast cancer is the uncontrollable growth of malignant cells in the breast. It is the most common cancer in women, although it can also develop in men. Diagnosing and treating breast cancer early offers the best treatment outlook. It's important to examine your breast regularly and schedule regular mammograms. In fact, talk to your doctor about which breast cancer screening schedule would be the best for you. Breast cancer is a huge subject that cannot be dealt. And actually, I have now emphasized uh, instead of breast cancer, the relation between breast density and the development of breast cancer. Since cancer cells can metastatize or spread to other parts of the body, it's important to recognize the symptoms of breast cancer early on. The sooner you receive a diagnosis and start treatment, the better your outlook. Breast cancer, as I said, is a worse subject, right from how to, uh, how, what are the symptoms, how it progresses, what should be the diagnostic methods, and what should be the treatment. I may come out with a different uh, uh, episode later on. But as of now, the importance was linking, changing breast density, and it's linked to breast cancer. I hope it is clear to all of you. Before I conclude today's laughter dose, Hope you have gone it, got it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Till then, take care. Goodbye.